Hello, my name is Brandon Jerzysh, and I'm with the Cisco Advanced Threat Solutions TAC team. I would like to demonstrate the entire process to download and install the Cisco Secure Endpoint Connector onto a Red Hat environment. Just a note, CentOS also works the same way. Let us first start on the Cisco Secure Endpoint Portal. Navigate to Management, Policies, click the Add New Policy button. From the drop-down, select Linux. Name your policy whatever you would like. For the purposes of this video, no further policy changes to be completed at this time. You can come back and edit this at any time later. After you create a name for your policy, please go to Product Updates and on the Product Version drop-down, select the version you would like to install onto your endpoint. Click on the Save button at the bottom and if prompted about the Network Module, just hit Continue. Now we can navigate to Management, Groups, click on Create Group on the right side, Pick any name for the group, go to the Linux Policy drop-down and select the policy that you created in the previous step. Click on Save. Next, let us click on Management, Download Connector. Select the group drop-down and pick the group you just created with the Linux policy you also created. On the bottom left category for Linux, please change the distribution to RHEL CentOS version you have installed on your endpoint. At this point, we have two options. The first is that we can hit download button to download the RPM install file and move it onto the endpoint with whatever method you're comfortable with. Option two, we can click show URL and copy the link in the pop-up window. Let us use this method this time because it does not require any extra applications and it's pretty quick. Open a SSH session or PuTTY session into the RHEL or CentOS environment. Navigate to your download directory via this command, cd space capital D for downloads. Then type in this command, wget space dash capital O space cse installer dot rpm space and then you'll paste the URL you copied in the previous step here. You can also name the file any name you would like, just make sure to have dot rpm on the end. Go ahead and press enter and then press control C to cancel out of the wget log notice if needed. You can then type ls to show that the file is there. The last step is to install the connector. Please run this command sudo space yum space local install space file name that you named it in the previous step space dash lowercase y. You are then prompted for the sudo password. You need to be root or have sudoers access in order to install the connector on the endpoint. Once you enter your password, the connector installs. Confirm the connector is active with this command. Slash opt slash cisco slash amp slash bin slash amp cli. Once the tool connects, type in status. It says connected and you are good to go. From here you can press Q to quit the tool. Feel free to check in the portal now under Management Computers. The endpoint shows up here in a few minutes. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day.